それではホームルームを始めます日直の人は号令をき起立おはようございます発砲したままで結構ですので出血を取ります磯貝くんはいすみませんが銃声の中なので大きな声ではい岡島くんはい奥田さんはい片岡さんはい綾野さんはい遅刻なしと素晴らしい先生とても嬉しいです<笑>He's a Japanese voice actor and singer who's affiliated with Black Ship Agency. Not that Black Ship. This was actually a talent agency founded by himself and voice actor Shinosuke Tachibana after they left AXL1. His birthday is November 26, 1978, and he's from Fukuyama, located at Hiroshima Prefecture in Nihon. Even though he was born in Fukuyama, he moved to Osaka Prefecture at a very young age and spent the majority of his life there before moving to Tokyo at the end of the 90s. His name is not to be confused with Fukushima Jun. Which is another great voice actor that I may get to cover in the future. His aspiration to become a voice actor was rather strange. It wasn't really because of the passion and the desire to become one, it was solely because of a girl whom he admired, who also wanted to pursue becoming a voice actress as well. So he decided to become a voice actor. And they both ended up attending auditions where they were qualified. What happens next? I've elected to keep that detail private. But essentially, this was the initial traction that got him very interested into the voice acting industry. And so, his journey from west to east began. Starting with his very first role back when he was still under affiliation with Baobab Production in 1997 as Akira Kamui from Butekyo Tri Zenin, followed by some minor roles before he's back to do leading roles, including in, for the first time, comedy series and other titles that you guys may be familiar with, such as Bookie Pop. And ever since then, He has been in numerous anime roles, original video animations, five original net animations, six live action drama films, anime films, video games, drama CDs, and countless dubbings. Up until 2002, he started to be playing roles of main protagonists from multiple series each year. In the following early 2000, He became mature enough to tackle major roles, mostly romance anime, with a few occasions on involvement with big projects such as Bleach. But the major breakout role of his career, and possibly my favorite, 
has got to be the range diverging tone of the anti-hero Lelouch La Forange from Kokiis. It was this performance that really put Fukuyama Jun onto the world map of some of the most popular seiyus. The nature of Lelouch's character simply sold Kokias, and perhaps one of the few best mecha anime that branded an impression due to his heavy political nature. Having said that, my favorite roles of his are characters that has a more um, smug attitude, such as the AI Masumoto from Vivi Fluorescent Song, as well as a um, vending machine reincarnated into another world. Yeah, these guys are getting weird. The fact that he can switch between different series demonstrated his amazing ability as a voice actor. You might remember his older ones as he went absolutely ballistic with Kimihiro Watanuki from Triple X Holic, or that time when he did the Kansai dialect for the character Kenya Oshitari from Prince of Tennis. Since he spent most of his life in the western region of Japan, so now you know the name of another seiyu who can speak in Kansai besides Kana Ueda. But it was thanks to his role as Lelouch La Forange and the popularity of Kogias, it has brought him some initial success, including Best Male Voice Actor Award in the Anime Grand Prix 2006, Manga Best 10, 2006 Voice Actor Award, as well as the Anikin Japan Grand Prize Male CU Awards within the same year, and not just stopping there. He also taken home additional titles, such as the Best Male CU Award in the first CU Award in 2007, and the Anikin Japan Grand Prize Male CU Award for the second time in the same year. But wait, there's more! He was awarded in the Animage's 30th Anime Grand Prix Voice Actor category in 2008, as well as the Anikin Japan Grand Prize Male CU Award for the third time. Damn. The streak did not stop there, however, as he also won the Tokyo International Fair 2009 Voice Actor Award and the newly established Oversea Fans Award in the third Seiyu Awards. And he also got an award for the second time in the 31st Anime Grand Prix. As the 2010s roll over, this is where Fukuyama-san really grabbed my attention in additional numerous roles. Ranging from Sota Takanashi in the comedy anime series Working, and the rather eccentric, elusive underground doctor, Shindra Kishitani from one of my favorite anime series of all time, Do Ra Ra Ra. He really brought a unique chemistry between himself and Salty with his soft approach, who seemingly has fallen in love with a supernatural entity, and just like Cole Gias, his voice contribution totally made this an absolute gem of multi-perspective storytelling. And just like any other hot and attractive seiyus out there, his irresistible charm means that he has what it takes to tackle another industry, music. Having been employed under the record label Underdog, 
He has released four studio albums between 2009 to 2013. And since he has moved on to Pony Cannon label, he has continued to produce additional musical content, including an album and a single back in 2017. Plus, his own persona show called Hitori no Bochi, which doesn't seem to be related to that two anime titles with similar names. Speaking of anime, he returned with more music in 2021 with the release of Dice in No Time, which includes theme song for a seasonal anime that aired during the fall of that year. To mark his 5th anniversary with Pony Canyon in 2022, he launched his Verified Artist channel on YouTube to release a new MV plus a new music project. Followed by an early announcement in 2023 with his 5th album, New Drama Paradise, which includes the opening song for the second seasons of Kyukesuki Suku Shinu, as well as an announcement to a live fanfare event in March of that year, rocking the new look with his luscious long hair. Despite not really racking any awards for his second career, his diverse resume is on par with other popular voice actors in the industry, comparable to the likes of Miyano Mamoru. His unique style and traits would surely keep current fans craving for more, as well as attracting new ones from any demographics and geography. Fun fact, his nickname is Jun Jun and he also practices Kendo. As a hardcore fan like myself, I would like to wish him the best and are looking forward to many more exciting projects ahead. And as always, thank you so much for watching, especially to that person who commented their suggestion on one of my previous video. I strongly encourage y'all to keep that up, as well as liking my videos, and especially, please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to ring the bell for updates on new releases. That's a wrap for another Seiyuu Highlight. I'm Space Sidejumps, and I shall see you on the flip side.